Welcome citizens. In this video we'll be taking a look at the MISC Freelancer Max. We'll be going over the stats of the ship, looking at its standard loadout and giving our thoughts on the ship's uses and possible upgrades. As with all things Star Citizen, keep in mind that specific details of the ship could and probably will change over time as the game's development progresses. As part of the 3.4 update, the Freelancer Max was added into the Star Citizen roster of flyable ships. Boasting a larger cargo hold than the base Freelancer model, the Max is the premier hauling vessel for pilots that want to fly solo or with a partner. This extra cargo space is made possible by the Max being nearly 13 metres wider than the other Freelancer variants and over 100 tonnes heavier. This extra weight does affect the ship's handling a little, but not by too much. Aside from the Max's wider rear section, its only other altered hull feature is the main thrusters, which are also wider than the base models and more angular in shape. These two aspects give the Max a chunkier, more robust appearance. The added orange paint stripes tie everything together and presents a ship that looks distinct from the other variants in the Freelancer line. Internally, the Max has the same systems and components as the base Freelancer model coming with the standard size 2 Daybreak power plant, size 2 Odyssey quantum drive and size 2 Frost Star coolers. It also has the same size 2 Chimali shield generators, giving the Max its large 12,152 hit point shield which Lancer pilots are familiar with. Despite the ship's large mass, its larger thrusters can push the Max up to top speed of 210 meters per second, which is 5 meters per second faster than the other variants. Its top afterburner remains as the standard 1,005 meters per second though. The ship's main feature is its increased cargo hold of 120 SCU. This is almost double the cargo space of the standard Freelancer at 66 SCU and is bigger than the cargo hold of the RSI Constellation line of ships. As standard, the Max comes equipped with four size 3 Omniski 9 laser cannons across its pilot controlled turrets and the rear man turret is equipped with two size 2 XJ2 distortion repeaters. It also comes with four size 3 Dominator 2 missiles and four harder hitting size 3 Thunderbolt 3 missiles. Overall, this is a fairly solid weapons package for a cargo ship and potential attackers should be wary of trading hits as lighter fighters can be destroyed by 3 or 4 shots from the powerful cannons and the XJ2 distortion repeaters are very effective at shutting down pursuers. System cooling is the ship's biggest issue with these weapons fitted. Swapping out the Frost Star coolers for a pair of core core units will help this but it won't eliminate it completely. Unfortunately, this weapons package also leaves the Max with a large EM and IR signature, so sneaking undetected through dangerous areas of space will be out of the question. It is possible to reduce these signatures by changing the weapons to a ballistic cell, but this comes with a drop in damage output, probably isn't worth the UEC cost. One notable upgrade to the Max is to swap the Odyssey Quantum Drive for a crossfield unit. While this unit uses slightly more quantum fuel compared to the Odyssey, it is more powerful and will help shorten the travel times when making long runs between Hurston and Crusader. Lastly, changing out the shield generators for a pair of stop generators will bump the Max's shields up by nearly 2,500 hit points. The Freelancer Max still has the same pilot visibility and rear turret issues that plagues all of the Lancer ships but the Max is still a direct upgrade from the base Freelancer. It's slightly faster, has more cargo space and comes with some better weaponry and missiles. If running cargo is your chosen activity within the verse, you can't go wrong with a Freelancer Max. Now I can say, having upgraded from a Freelancer to a Freelancer Max, that currently I'm very much enjoying it. It flies very nice, uh, it does feel quick, um, it does feel heavy when you're turning, but you know it is heavier. Um, but I think that additional cargo space is definitely worth the upgrade. So if you've got an extra 30 or 40 pounds dollars, definitely give it a crack. You won't regret it. Okay, so we hope this review has been helpful or informative. If you like the vid, press that like button 
and don't forget to subscribe for more Star Citizen videos. Also, feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments for any reviews you would like to see. Bye for now.